one. It's not Point. It's not Kucherov. He sends out Luke Glendening to win the faceoff because that's been part of the problem this season. They've lost the opening draw and yep. never got the puck back. They've been outshot 7-0 in the two overtime games they've been in this season. Extraordinary. Yeah. And Seattle's got the puck again. And to say the Lightning are due is an understatement. They have lost six straight games decided in three on three. Here comes Seattle. End of the line, it's Schwartz. Peels back. Sorelli's out there along with Glenn Denning. Hedman is out there as well. Flipped up ahead. Hedman trying to get back in time. Schwartz turns, shoots. Saved by Johansson. First stop required, and he makes it. Well, Coop said the other day after the loss, he said, well, I got to either start figuring out what we're going to do when we're out there or who goes out. Here's Yanni Gord. Rebound. Big save again by Johansson on Yanni Gord. How much would he love to connect here in this situation? Let me get a change in. Long pass down the ice trying to get it away to McCann. Great now point. McCann gets great, to great the puck. Play. Centers it back in front. Gord puts it back and Seattle gets a chance to reset. It's point. Sergachev and Kutrov out there right now. Man, the Lightning have barely played with the puck in three on three this season. And there's over a minute gone in this one. Veneers. He's pressured. Now he's going to get a chance to curl back and head down the right side. Maddie Veneers cut off. And now the Lightning have the puck. And the crowd recognizes that. Cheers them all. Long stretch pass at the ice to point. Point steps in, shoots, Kucherov! Oh, and hits the post! Oh my. It hits the post. Carroll's back to Grubauer, and he's got it. It doesn't take them long once they get it, that long pass. And Brayton Point, so dangerous, coming in off the wing. Look at Sergachev from behind his own net. <laughs> a beautiful pass. It made it there. Oh, there was just enough taken off of it. That's the story there. Adam Larson, I couldn't see from here. Adam Larson knew Kucherov was going there. He got just enough off of it that Kucherov was on a fly by the side of the net. He got a piece of it, but it went off the post. Now Paul to take this drop inside the Seattle line, and they're going to redo it. Jaden Schwartz was ready to fly on an attempted breakaway right off that faceoff. Lightning are going to have to be careful here if all three guys are going to be up. Winberg to take the faceoff for Seattle. Nick Paul again. They battle for the puck. And Jaden Schwartz gets on top of it. Seattle works to the center ice. They'll kick it back. Back to center is Winberg. Winberg steps into the line and can't get a shot away, but the penalty call is made. That's going to be a hooking call, and the Seattle Kraken will get a power play in overtime here. Yeah, Nick Paul trying to get back Denver on the number play. Number 20, minor penalty hooking. Puts a stick in there on Winberg, and it gets caught in there. He even dropped the stick to try and unhook it, but as soon as the referees see that, Watch him come across right there. Yeah, that's always a bad idea. See, he dropped it, but it was already in on the hands. So this is going to be a long two minutes or less for Nick Paul as John Cooper looks on. It'll be a four on three power play here. And the Kraken taking full advantage with their timeout to drop a, a plan. Well, Vince Dunn can really shoot the puck from, from the top. He came into this game with seven points as a defenseman, tied for top on this team. Bjorkstrand is the other guy at the top, scoring-wise. McCann, the 40-goal scorer from last year, and Jaden Schwartz, five-time 20-goal scorer out there for Seattle. Out comes Glendening again to win this faceoff. Chernak and Sergachev are out there with him. Good faceoff win by Glendening. Chernak battling with McCann, and the Kraken get the puck. Kick back by Schwartz, and the Kraken will set things up. Here's Dunn. Dunn drops it off. McCann shoots right on, and Johansson has got it. No rebound. Well, they went to the 40-goal score, and he wants a new twig after shooting that one. He's a lefty on the left side. See him on the right side of your screen? 
So he just loops up and comes downhill. He's got a lot of room because there's only three defenders. This one's pulled to the board, straight to Jared McCann. Dunn locks the line, gives it up to Bjorkstrand. Bjorkstrand to Dunn. Dunn again. Up top, leaves it for Oliver Bjorkstrand. Waits, shoots, that goes off a leg, picked up into the corner by McCann. Back to Bjorkstrand. Dunn moves in, slap shot, kicked out by Johansson. To the line, not out. Dunn again. Takes his time, being watched by Chernak. Here's Bjorkstrand, near side, McCann. He's at a sharp angle, walks it out. All the way up top to Bjorkstrand, across to Dunn. McCann shoots and scores. Buries it, and Seattle wins it. Everything was set up for McCann. The 40-goal scorer of last year, he's got four goals coming into this one. And he just came and looped up and came right downhill, down the middle. He had the chance. A moment ago, there he is, top of your screen. That's the setup, comes down, that is the perfect shot. You look where the goaltender Johansson is. He gets himself set, he's out on the edge of the paint, and that was just a blistering shot, low, just maybe a tad off the ice, you'll get a good look here. It goes right inside the goal post. See how far the goaltender has to go, left to right, and then back again. Doesn't see it right away. He's almost there. I mean, just, he might even have ticked that puck, but not enough. It's the first time the Seattle Kraken have beaten the Tampa Bay Lightning in the regular season, and they do it in overtime. The three-on-three -three struggles continue for the Lightning, but they do extend their point streak to six games and head out onto the road.